Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for June 2023. It creates this fun jar, this, um, or bottle I should say, like a message in the bottle kind of a thing. It's a very large. The inside square are here is an A2 panel. Let me show you the size here. So it will fit an A2 card, but this will probably make a great card on its own. Because I love the shape of this. Let me flip this around and show you the back side. This is what it creates. I think this is so neat. It has a whale with some greenery and you have some waves and some splashes. I love the little tag even. The for you comes out so you can stamp a message on there or you can insert the hi. There's um, lots of elements for scene building on the bottom. So I'm going to, we're going to die cut everything and then create a bottle here. I went ahead and did all my die cutting and then I thought I'd share with you the colors that I used. All the cardstock that I'm using today is Bowbinder's Color Essential Cardstocks. Um, I have, this is the new Fog. This one here is Silver Fox. It's just slightly darker than, a little bit warmer I would say than the Fog. You have a Glacier. You have Dune for both of these. Dune, Timber, Fruit Punch, Persimmon. You have the greens are Fern and Rainforest. This gray here is called Lunar Gray. Of course we have white, we have our black, and then we have a couple shades of blue. This is Raindrop, and then this is Partly Cloudy. So those are all the colors. I did take some acetate and using the large outline die, I cut it out with a piece of acetate. I had to run it through a couple times, but we got that through. I thought we'd create that shiny glass-like look. Okay, we I do have the, the little um, water splash kind of elements that I die cut out also with white cardstock. Okay, we'll first put together the whale, and I'm using this as a reference on how to put it together. So I have white and black. I'm going to take my white. I'm going to use my dot liner because I think it's going to be quicker. And in case I need to remove it, this is a wonderful, wonderful um, adhesive. So I will add the black. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. I'll add the black right over the white. When you die cut out the white piece, let me show you, you have, oops, you have this opening here. I went ahead and die cut out the lunar gray cardstock with that. Now I'm going to add the piece that's missing with my adhesive. You can use glue, of course. And if you don't want to fuss with this small small piece, which I think adds a lot of detail. You can just put some gray cardstock behind covering this. But this worked out great. I need to scoot this up a little bit. I will flip this over. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here and then I'm going to trim a piece of white cardstock to fit behind it. Trim it. That way I know it's not going to go anywhere. And there is our whale. Minus the bin. <laughs> I'm going to sandwich. We better bring in the glue. Now I'm going to add the glue underneath the tail. And I'm going to, since we have two layers there, I'm going to tuck that whale fin in between both layers. Or you can put it on the back side if you wanted to. I think that is such a pretty whale. With a smaller fin, we can put that underneath here with a dot of glue. Maybe 
maybe scoot it down a little bit. I guess there's no right or wrong place for this. And that is our well. I'm going to put this over to the side and now I'm going to work on my cork. This is timber and again this is dune. I'm going to grab my tweezers and we'll just flip this around. Add a little glue. I do want to do a little bit of distressing. Now, before we put this off to the side, I'm going to bring in my vintage photo and my finger droppers here. I'm going to add a little bit of color, just a little bit. And I'm also, since we have vintage photo out, this is the bottom that I cut out. What I did was I took the inside die. And I just put this over my cardstock. Let me show you. If I had a cardstock panel, I just added it like this and ran it through. Just so I would have that one. That's why we only have one piece. But I'm going to take my finger dauber. And I'm going to add a little bit of darker sand by just tapping it. I think that's just what we needed. To create, I want to create a bottle that is a card base. So to do that, I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. This is the same fog cardstock. This is eight and a half inches by five, five and a half inches. I'm going to take my um, scoreboard and I am going to score it. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. I'll fold it. And then I'll take the largest die, the same die that I used to create my acetate. And I'm going to line it up, but on this edge, the fold edge, I'm going to flip it around. And the cut line here that's on the die, I'm going to make sure that it's not on the cardstock. So it's going to be outside of the cardstock. I will line this up. I'll tape it down and then I will run this through my die cut machine. And then this will create a side folding um, bottle. I will run this through my die cut machine. This is what it looks like. I just and I just love this. Um, against an A2 envelope, you can see it fits in it beautifully. I think this would make a great shaker card also. Okay, we're going to work directly on our card base. And I'm going to keep these pieces and we're going to layer them together to create a little bit of dimension on the front of our card. So we're just going to add some glue. And if you don't want a lot of dimension, you would just skip this part. There we go. This is going to go on the very bottom. I'm going to go ahead and tack this down right now. There's going to be about an eighth of an inch border around the outside edge of your bottle. I'm going to tack this down with my tape runner because it keeps wanting to open up. After we have our um, dirt in the bottom of our bottle, I'm going to take our our little um, our little rock. I'm going to call it a rock. <laughs> Glue behind here, and we're going to do the same thing. I have this extra piece. I'm going to layer it together, and then I'm going to tack this down on my card. So we have uh, two layers, a little bit of dimension here. Now I'm going to add the next layer of the bottle 
And this is using the same fog cardstock. I'm just going to press it. Let's see here. And then we get to create the waves. Now I'm not sure where this goes, but I'm thinking it's like a puzzle piece. So, let's see if we can figure the puzzle out first. And then, maybe we can, that looks like it might go there. This one, it looks like we're kind of covering. Maybe this one goes underneath. And then we go here. Here. That looks like it lines up there. And then we have this one. Okay, let's line this one up first. We'll add some glue and we'll attack this over here. And this curve looks like it lines up to this one. Maybe. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to take this one, add some glue behind here, we'll tack this down. Now I'm not sure how this goes, but I'm just going to follow along like a puzzle. <laughs> I already attached this piece to this piece. And I did it by lining up this edge with this curve here. You can see the kind of matches. And then maybe that goes there. I did end up die cutting out. I think we need more white. So I die cut out one more of these pieces. I'm not sure if we'll use it or not, but just in case I couldn't spread around the color. <laughs> This one, this one actually looks like it lines up here. That one looks like it lines up perfectly right there. So I'll do that. And then, maybe this goes here. But then we'll cover up that little, that white. But everything's lining together beautifully. But I want a little more white. I'm going to use this one. It looks like it follows along this curve. So I will add the white one instead. That way we can have a little more white in there. Where was I at? Maybe I need to flip it around. Okay. Maybe that's it. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of fits like a puzzle piece. Just had one color wrong, that's all. <laughs> so we have some waves. And I, ha I did pop up my cork with a piece of foam. We better, let's add We'll add the rim first, and I popped this up with some black foam. We'll add this, because this follows along the curve, and then I'll tuck the bottom cork underneath it. And then I'll tuck the top one, lining them up. And that's not lined up very well. Oops. There's a slit in there. I think if you were not to pop it up, you could actually tuck it. And I think that looks wonderful. I may want to cut another one of the 
the corks on the other side. Let's do that. Let's take this. Oops. And I'll die cut this out with the same color cardstock, which is timber. So I'm just going to take the top piece that I die cut out and I'll put this on this side. I'll add a little extra glue. That way you can't see the, the foam and it just looks a little cleaner. Okay, let's finish up with our greenery and our whale. I'm going to and add my whale. And then we have our greenery. This is the fun part. Oh, oh. I think that I love the bull. I love black with um, bright colors. I just think it works out great. I just kind of want my acetate to be floating on the top. Now, because the whales popped up and this has popped up, I think we can get away with it. So I'm going to add, um, use my tape runner and add a little bit of adhesive. And I'm going to put it where I'm going to put the um, the string so the string will cover it and and I think you know what I'm going to do too is flip this tag around my for you is with the circle on the right I'm going to um, re-die cut this out to where the for you is on the other side now that it's facing this way, I'm going to take some score tape and I'm going to add it to my my the top of my bottle here. And then I'll just remove the release paper. And then I will tack where the sl I think where the slit is, I'm going to trim away. like so. And then I will tack this down. And this way the acetate's laying on my on my whale. There is a little bit of dimension you can see here. Okay, and then to make it stick a little bit more, what we're going to do is put a foam square behind our tag, but we want to wrap some twine around there. So I have some white twine and making sure this is open. And I'm going to wrap this around. I think four times is great. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is tie a knot. And then I will take these ends and I will even them up. And then I'll take my tag and I'll thread these through here. I'm going to use one of my black ones. I'll remove the release paper and it's threaded through, but I'll add it here. Okay. I Once this is tacked down, I'll take the ends of my bow. I'll lift up the area of the twine that we wrapped around and scoot it under. There we go. And bring it back up. And then I will tie a bow at the very top. And I think I'm going to leave the tails of the twine a little bit long. And our acetate is stuck with the the score tape you can you barely see it and then the whales holding it up for the dimension but just to secure it a little bit more I'm gonna take one more of my foam squares I'll just remove the release hit paper off the front and the back and then I will lift up the acetate put it underneath the tag here and tack it down and then this way the acetate is kind of floating but you know it's not gonna go nowhere and I love how this looks like a bottle.
the inside's nice and clean. You can write your message. Um, and as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking maybe you could have tucked the cork down a little bit so it'll fit in the A2 envelope. But um, other than that, I think it looks super adorable. No bells or whistles today. I just love the way it looks, kind of like a bottle. And um, that's my project using the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit. This is for June 2023. It's called Whale in a Bottle. I don't even think I told you that, but this month's kit's called Whale, Whale in a Bottle. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.